Renewables are the energy source of the future, and scientific innovation is critical in harnessing sustainable resources. We need a system that's able to store energy, and we want to be able to use this energy whenever we need it during peak demands. And we know that um, renewable sources, such as solar and wind, which are known to be intermittent, cannot always do that for us. Dr. Mega Carr's research is aimed at developing better batteries. Lithium ion batteries are still vastly quite expensive because they're not as abundant as some of the um, other types of metal batteries that we're working with. For example, magnesium. Magnesium is uh, one of the most abundant metals in the world. To expand her research, Dr. Carr embarked on a fellowship with the Australia India Strategic Research Fund. There's quite a lot of uh, similarities within um, <coughs> India and Australia that require similar battery type devices. Um, one being having remote areas that depend on large storage grid type devices. Um, the other thing is the hot climate and we need to be able to design materials and batteries that are stable at very elevated temperatures. Dr. Carr made valuable connections during her fellowship which continued after the birth of her child. We were able to continue these Skype meetings and online meetings and have these discussions. Now we're already um, having some really good scientific outputs, having some really good publications coming out of this. Dr. Hasitha Wierasinghe says his research into flexible solar panels also benefited from an AISRF fellowship. Most people are very familiar with these uh, silicon-based rigid solar panels, which you often see on the roofs around Australia. Here at CSRO, we have been working on a new uh, photovoltaic technology, which is flexible and also which can be printed and produced using roll-to-roll -roll printers at large scale at a very fast rate. Easy to produce and install, flexible solar panels can be used for mobile applications and many different purposes. As they're semi-transparent, these can be uh, used as solar blinds as well, where we can get a bit of light coming through your window uh, while generating some electricity. The CSIRO has now received an AISRF grant of $497,570 for Dr. Wirasinger to develop it with his Indian partners. I would like to actually recommend this fellowship, it's very useful. Not only are you able to share your knowledge and get something out of that, but you're also able to take a lot from their labs and their students um, and their expertise, bring it back here and share it with your colleagues here.